How you doing? It's Ryan with 1075. We have Jimmy, our purchasing manager, along, and we're gonna do something a little bit new today. We're gonna do Ryan Reed's Mead comments. So James and I have um, some apple juice, and uh, we have uh, some candy uh, cigars there for James. Um, so we're gonna read through some of your uh, not so nice comments, and we're gonna get initial reactions off of it. So. Hopefully you enjoy it as much as Jimmy's probably gonna piss himself. Are you sure about this? I got your back I if mean, you're worst, not. Dude, worst case, I got your back if you're worst case this. scenario, we don't do anything with it. I mean, what the I mean, this guy's definitely a but uh, we'll go with uh, <laughs> his comment. Yeah. What about a treadmill? <laughs> Said you need a treadmill. <laughs> The way he said clean hurt me. Well, you better clean your mouth out. <laughs> <laughs> like what? <laughs> clean? Oh, this one definitely needs some grammar work. Okay. You tired? Yeah. I work here. <laughs> <laughs> he sounds like Deputy Dangle from Reno 911. The f is Deputy Dangle? I have no f***ing idea. I don't watch oh, that show. Okay. Must be a West Coast thing. Oh, oh, oh boy. Gotta take a breath after everything he says. Oh my God. It's congestion, my friend. Whelan, the mispronouncing is driving me nuts. Another one that needs grammar. I don't see you on the internet, boy. I got hooked on phonics. It didn't work too well for me too much here. Other than mispronouncing the Whelan family name, it's pronounced Whelan. This is a solid install. So he was mean and nice all he in one sentence. mean and nice, but you know what? Yeah. You don't use your product all the time, so right. maybe that's the problem. Yeah. You know, we can't say nothing bad about the product, right? Oh my, I don't want to read this one. Still in search of Ryan's neck. What the f***? <laughs> Listen, you need a lot. There's a lot of tree trunk to hold up a head this big. Huh? Oh, they want to see your face. You want to see my face? Yeah. I don't want you to see my face. <laughs> so you can't hook up the radios properly. Lost MRU. I don't even know what that means. Oh, that was some like was reading the thing and the radio wasn't on because they didn't send us the chassis to install. Yeah. Oh, the paper. <laughs> the paper. <laughs> we gotta see your head, man. Do you know how to use that thing? I'd be very happy with a Blackberry. All right, so another keyboard warrior here. Whalen power call with puke emojis. I don't understand. He doesn't, he doesn't like the sound. Oh, so keep scrolling. <laughs> you get a little, I'm just saying, keep scrolling. All right, more from the keyboard oh, warriors. It, it, and yard breathers. Yard breathers. Yard breathers. Because that's definitely what you guys are with all the keyboard. He's getting, he's getting ballsy now. He's had a, I'm, I'm he's yeah. had an apple These people need lives. The fact that they drilled into the fender to put that ugly light with an emoji with eyes wide open. That's like everything you do. It's Every upfitter drills into the body of the vehicles. Yeah, where are you gonna put, where are you gonna put them? They need to go somewhere. I mean, what, what's more important, getting the light where you need it to be on a, a zone or worrying about when you get rid of the car in five or 10 years and there's holes in it. I'm sure you're gonna crash the thing or drill your, drop your Wendy's uh, slurpy thing in, in the console before you worry about what holes are in the car. Did you ever modded, modded, modded a car for Secret Service or FBI? Can't tell you, wouldn't post it, we'd have to kill you. You can quote us. Is that an emergency vehicle or a mobile Christmas tree? Well, Christmas tree would probably need water on it all the time, so it's probably a command vehicle. Albert Einstein. These are, these, these are smart people here. Why the second siren got me thinking, I got it off the muscle. What? I don't even know what this is. I gotta say it again, hold on. Why the second siren got me thinking, I got it off the muscle. Something is wrong with you, bro. You mean to tell me that GTA got that right? Holy smokes. Oh, Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, Grand Theft Auto. I don't know. I don't understand. I don't understand either. All right, go back to playing Grand Theft Auto. Let us know how you're doing. My tax dollars paid for this. I love these people. I love uh, people like this. Just, you know, your tax dollars, depending on which vehicle, you know, it could be tax dollars, it could be drug seizure money. What does squirrel have to do with it? Squirrel, like they're squirrely, like, like. 
I like lights. Oh God, I like squirrely like that. We should do this once a month and just discuss. Well, topics. maybe maybe this will stir people up enough that they they'll start mm. making nasty comments. That we can actually. And we can read more. Yeah, we can read more. Circus is in town. Where's the clown? <laughs> like circus is in cl- town for what? There's no there's no monkeys jumping around. Little hats. <laughs> there's no bearded lady. Oh man. I mean, if we put hair on you with a the beard, there would be the bearded lady. Oh god, the internet. <laughs> Bean comments is done. First version. I don't want to be done drinking though. You can keep on drinking and just talk about life. <laughs> oh, life with, with James O'Brary. If you have a better response to any of the mean comments on this video, we're gonna pick a winner. We're gonna send you a free tumbler and check out for the next installment of Ryan Reed's mean comments. Actually, Jimmy reads mean comments. Ryan reacts to mean comments. What do I get for this? Do I get a tumbler? You get a salary. <laughs> What's the point of these comments? I can't believe you guys deal with this every day. I'm gonna go back to my shipping computer.